Hello, I'd like to welcome everyone to this consultation. I would like to thank the store managers and area managers for hosting this event and the corporate executives for taking time from their busy schedules to attend this evaluation. Now, I would like to begin this meeting by asking a relevant question. Did you know that a one-star increase in your restaurant's Yelp rating can increase your restaurant's revenue by 9%? Did you know that one proven way to gaining that one-star increase is to manage your restaurant's negative reviews? That's, one, that's our job at Fishes and Loaves, helping you turn negative reviews into positive reviews. Fishes and Loaves was established in Marietta, Georgia in 1987 as a consulting team providing lasting solutions to Metro Atlanta seafood restaurants. Our goal is to multiply your bread by developing and cultivating a restaurant thriving on customer service, culinary excellence, and of course, profitability. In fact, our mission statement is to help companies through a unique program designed for each restaurant we serve, reach their profitability goals, learn how to run a consistent and successful restaurant, and help each company grow in its name and custom. Our services will assist you in achieving your goals as a restaurant manager, as well as the goals of McCormick and Schmick's Seafood and Steaks as a restaurant chain. My name is David Harrington. I'm the Senior Consultant for Fishes and Loaves. After obtaining my master's degree from Culinary Institute of America, I returned to Atlanta where I was instrumental in the startup processes of several of the area's premier restaurants, including Bacchanalia, Bones, and Nikolai's Roof. In my service with these restaurants, I have implemented chef and staff training programs developed original menus featuring unique recipes, and formulated profitable kitchen operations. I view the dining experience holistically from all points of view, chef, manager, host, server, customer, to provide a comprehensive analysis of how any restaurant may improve its bottom line by improving its image. The restaurant I reviewed is McCormick & Schmick's Seafood and Steaks, located in the Georgia World Congress Center. This upscale steak and seafood chain, known for its clubby environs and happy hour, first put down roots in Portland, Oregon in 1974. Today, McCormick and Schmick's operates 39 locations in the United States, as well as five locations in Canada. They offer such entrees as swordfish, scallops with butternut risotto, ribeye steak, and stuffed salmon, all complemented by a considerable assortment of handcrafted cocktails. McCormick and Schmick's location in the Georgia World Congress Center exposes itself to a variety of competitors in the same location, as well as establishments in the neighboring CNN Center. For example, Thrive Restaurant and Bar offers garlic shrimp, bourbon glazed salmon, and chef cut steaks on their menu. Another competitor, Glenn's Kitchen, presents customers with shrimp and grits and Scottish salmon, along with an extensive drink menu. Furthermore, the Hudson Grills menu features apricot glazed salmon, luau sirloin, a 14 ounce ribeye, and the salmon mac and cheese bowl. You receive several glowing reviews from customers visiting on a variety of occasions. For example, my husband and I celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary here last night. The chef fixed us oysters Rockefeller upon request, even though it wasn't on the menu. Another couple brought their children along and judging from their review, everyone enjoyed their various entrees. I had the swordfish and my husband had the New York strip. Both were great. Our kids had pasta dishes and enjoyed those just as much. However, as expected, not every review is full of glowing praise. 
Unfortunately, several customers cited slow service in their reviews. One customer lamented, they were having a very busy night. It took about two hours to get food. Looks like they underestimated the amount of customers needing to be serviced. While another posited, the staff are overworked because management doesn't know how to staff a restaurant attached to a convention center. Wait times were not the only complaint. As evidenced by this customer's complaining, my meal was a complete joke. An eight ounce steak at $40 a pop is supposed to be succulent. Cooked as asked, and my mashed potatoes looked like they sped in them. I wanted a side of truffle fries and they literally brought me McDonald's type fries and ketchup. I asked for my steak to be redone and the server gave me attitude. Still another customer noted, the air filters and ceilings are so dusty. Fortunately, this particular problem is one of the easiest to address. Although negative reviews are not nearly so nice to receive as positive reviews, they serve as an invaluable guide to giving your customers what they want. Furthermore, our competitors' customer reviews allow us to compare how we stand in contrast to the local competition. Judging from a few random reviews of Thrive Restaurant and Bar, it seems their patrons are generally happy with the service they receive and the value of the food they receive. Thrive customers regularly cite, quote, amazing service and quality food at affordable prices. Glenn's Kitchen, on the other hand, seems to be experiencing some of the same complaints that we have seen from your customers regarding the quality of the steak dinner they ordered. When you order a steak medium rare and it comes out medium well, and there is no adjustment on a substantial bill, after you point out the error, well, not okay. So we may speculate that McCormick and Schmicks may expect to see a few former patrons of Glenn's Kitchen looking for a more satisfactory dining experience. Conversely, your restaurant will, no doubt, entertain devoted Thrive restaurant and bar patrons simply looking for a change of scenery. In both instances, it is vital that McCormick and Schmicks offers those displaced patrons a reason to return to your restaurant. Recommendations from our experts at Fishes and Lows, based upon both positive and negative customer reviews, will guide McCormick and Schmicks to a sure path for attracting and retaining the patronage of the hungry multitudes. As slow service is the primary concern of several of your reviewers, let us recall the reviewer who posited, quote, the serving staff are overworked because management doesn't know how to staff a restaurant attached to a convention center. We recommend scheduling employees according to the Georgia World Congress Center's calendar of events, as well as other local music festivals and sporting tournaments. This may require hiring some additional weight and cook staff, but their salaries will be justified if McCormick and Schmick's gains a reputation as the go-to events restaurant. Our second recommendation stems from the reviewer who complained of the overall quality of their food, from their unsavory steak to their McDonald's-like truffle fries. It is imperative that diners are served the meal they envision, especially if the menu features an image of that particular meal. Food mistakes should be corrected immediately by a smiling, apologetic server. Steaks, especially, should be grilled to the proper temperature. If not, compensation should be offered to the diner, either in the form of free food or a reduced bill. Our final recommendation concerns the cleanliness of the restaurant. We may recall the viewer who noted, quote, the air filters and ceiling are so dusty. All restaurants are periodically inspected and graded by the Board of Health 
and therefore undergo a preemptive thorough cleaning. However, some interim cleaning may be performed between inspections, especially in the dining room or waiting areas where wandering eyes are likely to detect the dirt as well as the decor. Of course, it is also important that restrooms always appear hygienic and well stocked with soap, hand dryers, and other necessities. Customers complaining of slow service is the bane of nearly every restaurant, and for some reason, restaurant owners tend to think that the ambiance of their establishment can somehow compensate for slow service. Indeed, one reviewer notes, the nice decor and atmosphere of McCormick and Schmick's. However, that same customer also proposes that you are, quote, expensive for no reason, and the customer has had better seafood at Red Lobster. Another customer expresses the same sentiment this way. Meh, for the price I can find you about 100 other better options within 15 minutes. But if you like the ambiance and overpaying, go for it. These attitudes pose serious threats to obtaining potential customers and retaining previous customers who have read these reviews. As you have already achieved noteworthy ambiance and style, the two greatest threats facing your business are slow service and seemingly overpriced food. We have already mentioned a remedy for the slow service, namely coordinating the restaurant staff schedules with those of the Georgia World Congress Center and Mercedes-Benz Stadium. To overcome negative reviews regarding high prices, we suggest a rewards program, whereby repeat customers receive dip deeply discounted prices or even free entrees after a specified number of visits. Another recommendation regarding your food is to review the menu and see where there is room for improvement in the way the dishes are prepared. Can some be spiced up? Can some dishes be combined with others to offer a more satisfactory dining experience? And of course, our final recommendation is to always, always prepare the customer's food to the customer's specifications and to get their order correct. Compensation for mistakes of the staff are a nice gesture and should be provided without delay. However, compensation is no substitute for providing the customer what they are eagerly expecting after they have placed their order. In conclusion, managing restaurant reviews is necessary for attracting new customers as well as retaining current patrons. It is also a terrific way to track your competition success and see how they rate compared to you. If possible, you should manage your restaurant reviews daily. However, if that's not feasible, you should manage your reviews at least three times per week. Please keep in mind that a poster-sized SWAT table will be composed for you and will be delivered to your offices within the next two weeks. You may wish to consult it periodically to work on your weaker points, such as slow service, and to make your strengths even stronger. In time, these actions will encourage new customers to try your restaurant and provide you with a competitive edge. I enjoyed this opportunity to help McCormick's and Schmick's manage the reviews, and the chance to offer recommendations to assist in improving your restaurant's image by helping improve your communication as well as your customer service. Please remember that you can always contact us via our website at fishesandloaves.com, through our email address at fishesandloaves at gmail.com, and by telephone at 1-800-FISH-4-U. As an expression of our gratitude, Fishes and Loaves would like to present you 
with a gross of souvenir fountain pens to commemorate our time together this morning, as well as a Fishes and Loaves t-shirt for each of you. I bought plenty of shirts in various sizes, so we should find a fit for everyone. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me or one of my associates if you need any of our services in the future or if you have recommendations for how we can better serve our clientele. Thank you for your time this morning. It was a real pleasure.